tour. We've been busy this week trying to get in as many plants as we can. So with that said, let's have a go. Okay, on the tables are peppers. Peppers and chilies. As you can see, they're doing really, really well. And then across, and these are my sons. And these are mine. As you can see, we haven't got a lot left, which is brilliant. And look at my bucket of salad. Spinach is ready, salad leaves we've been picking, watercress is going crazy, radishes are doing well. And then all you can see is a sea of green potato leaves. You can see they have shot up. Carrots are doing well. And that bed at the bottom. That one is not doing well, and I believe that may be drainage issues. So that bed's a little work in progress. Under this bed, we have sweet corn. Peas are going crazy. Tomatoes are doing well. And look at our pumpkin. He is doing really well. And these peas are doing well. And don't worry about the red. That is from the paint we put on the fence. It's actually pet and plant friendly, so it doesn't actually fry them, which is a bonus. Let me see my little sunflower got rather red. This is the potato leaf tomato, and that one needs to come off. You put you peas, you climb. They're doing really well. And then over here, look at this runner bean climbing. Talk about over there a cheaper compared to the others. The sweet corn here is still not doing well. Don't know what's causing that. Chinese cabbage is doing very well there. More beans, chamomile, bay leaf. And look at these tomatoes. They are doing so well, so very well. Look, they're almost in flower. Almost in flower. With that said, that is brilliant. And I keep coming through here every other day, pruning off. Let's have a look. I prune off the bottom leaves and any suckers. In here we've got some radish. These are some radishes we put in. We've actually put quite a lot in. Beautiful. And this one has to be one of my favorite colors. Look at this one. Isn't he just stunning? Here we have fever few supposed to be very good for pain. I've never tried it. I think it's pretty. That's a weed. Let's 
Okay. Over here, look at these spots. And look at the damage. Being eaten alive. Now let me see if I can find the culprit. We know it's slugs and snails. The damage they're doing is horrific. And I can't put slug pellets and things like that down because my dogs can get to this. And I don't want to be ending up rushing my dogs to a vet because that would not be good. So these, unfortunately, just have to be eaten. It's gutting, absolutely gutting. But hopefully they'll be strong enough to pull through. That's a lesson. More lesson. Look at that nasturtium leaf. Almost as big as my hand. Look. Almost in flower. We've stuck some cosmos in here. Just as a little gap filler. We're doing okay there. Well, red currants, what can I say? They are. They're huge. This bush has ever had this many. More spots, more spots. I'm waiting for them to flower, but they're not yet. The flowers have popped open. Even on the top here. They're all popping open, so it won't be long before we have raspberries. Strawberries are still doing really well. And all the apples, check out this lot. This tree is loaded. Let's have a look, see how our cherries are getting in. Cherries. Oh, lots of cherries. Another one. Oh, those have been eaten. Pull them off. It's no good the plant putting energy into that. Look at these. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. A little blueberry bush. Got some flowers on, that's a new one this year, so I'm really pleased with that. That's thriving lovely. 
and then the blueberry bush here still not sure what's gonna go on the jasmine has just come alive and look at these crazy pansies lots of pansies Cabbages are still hearting up. Look at this one. It certainly won't be long before we harvest them. And those beans at the back growing. And crazy potatoes. Oh, they are huge. Some of their leaves are as big as my hand. This is the brassica section. And the sea of kale, as you can see. just so it can give a bit more light because these are all planted very very close but we've been chowing down on the kales which is great tree spinach Swiss shard Swiss shard has gone Crazy Kohlrabi, they're not bulbing up yet, so I don't know whether we're going to get much out of these. It's the first time growing them, and then across to here, masses of pansies that I am picking every day, and a cabbage white butterfly that I don't want in my garden. Get off. Look at these peas. And look at these munch too. They're crazy. Crazy little things. Need to get them to train. Come on. Sometimes they just don't want to hold. Tap soy is ready to harvest. Chinese red cabbage. Sweden turnips. Carrots, beetroot, radish and tomatoes. They need, by the luck of them, some water. I'll have to see if I can do that in a minute. Just make sure I water at the roots and nowhere else. Crazy salad that we're still chewing down on every day. And look at this one. Let me pick him up and see if you can get him so you can see him better. Isn't he cute? He was reduced from £12 down to 5 at our garden centre. He's gorgeous. Oh, look at these beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Petunias are called Night Sky. He was reduced down to a pound. But they are so pretty. Catmint's gone crazy. Everything's gone crazy there, to be honest. Right, let's have a look in the greenhouses. Yep, 
in here. A cucumber plant. And more. We've had to put this wire up because one of my dogs, as you can see, believes, keeps eating my cucumbers. Not impressed with the dog. Not impressed at all. And in here, the greenhouse, we have beefsteak tomatoes. As you can see, we're trellising them up. We have the watermelons, some more beefsteaks, and some more cucumbers. Again, same dog, got this one and this one. And I'm not sure it's going to make a comeback, but you never know. This one is doing beautifully. And here's cucumber lemon ball. See, he's trellised up. Up into there. You can see that's all my trellising. The shed also got painted. Which is looking nice and neat now. Which I'm, me and my son done that, which is so good. We want to paint this back fence. I'm hoping we may get done this week. But we've done this bit. Unfortunately, I cannot go any further than there because the next fence panel goes along where the peas are growing. And I don't want to pull off the netting because it's actually stapled onto the fence. So once they're done, I'll pull them out and then I can sort of get on and paint that fence and this back one I want to paint. Um, let's see if we can show you Rose is in bloom. We're not bloom yet, they're in bud. Everything on the shed is doing really well. Rose, look how much this one has grown. It is beautiful. And the alpine plants. Oh, he's furry. I wonder if you can see that he's furry. Almost feels so soft. Feels like a, almost like a brushed cotton, is what it reminds me of. In these beds, we've actually stuck extra seeds in. Spring onion. It's got a little row there. Little row there, and another one there. We've been putting in sort of single seeds of radish in and around. We've also put um, about 20 walking onions in, but we've just dotted them anywhere we feel like. I got fed up of everything having to have a place. What I want is it to be growing wild, you know, um, nothing has to have its place. So this is why we've gone in with radishes and just scattered them around for the um, spring onions the Egyptian walking onions. We've just got the old bulb, shoved it in here, there and everywhere. Because we just want it to not look perfect. Because there is no such thing as a perfect garden. I want it to just be green and lush and doing its own thing. And I'm not worried about rows of this, rows of that just want to just scatter it so that's what we've done which has been absolutely amazing it's been good fun to actually go and do 
your talk as your garden everything's got to be in straight rows but it doesn't have to be but that's what you're expected to do so I don't want to be in straight rows there are certain things like sweet corn they have to be in blocks to be able to pollinate one another so that's fine but nothing else has to be straight rows so we will see what comes up and where because me and my son I was asking him the other day can you remember where we put the walking onions because I can't remember where I put them and he can't remember where he put them so that'd be a nice surprise when they come up Asparagus pea he's doing really well more peas they're not doing very well they're being shaded out this herb bed is going wild and they have been harvesting off of here and I actually last night I made myself some fresh mint tea Totally enjoyed it. Well, I'm waiting for some tomato hooks to come in. If you've never seen them and don't know what they are, I'll put a photo in here. Then you can see what I've ordered. The link to those tomato hooks will be put in the description below. So I'm going to be taking all the string that I've got out of my greenhouse and transfer them, transferring them over to the tomato hooks just for ease. Um, so they're due in, in the next couple of weeks. I think I've got 30 in and I intend to use them for the cucumbers, the tomatoes and probably some of the squashes that I can then train and run up the fence, which will be ideal. So that's it for this garden tour guys i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and that way you'll know each time we upload a video until next time happy gardening all